Now we will talk about what are the different KPIs that are measured with this score model. Now what happens is score model has already defined their own set of rules to measure certain KPIs across the industry. And some KPIs that we will see, the first KPI is perfect customer order fulfillment, which basically talks about customer order delivery performance or a performance to all the customer orders that we have fulfilled. Then second KPI is perfect supplier order fulfillment where how suppliers performance is that is being measured. Then third is perfect written order fulfillment, which is again from a customer or from suppliers point of view. So this talks about how the written material has been fulfilled. Then it also talks about order fulfillment cycle time. One can also refer this as a lead time to close or to fulfill the order. Very important is it also measures supply chain agility. So what is agility? It actually measures how agile or how flexible our supply chain was to manage unplanned scenarios like spike orders or certain situations which are not in control like strike, flood and other situations. It also measures total supply chain management cost which includes material acquisition cost inventory holding cost, labor cost or IT related cost. So all these costs are measured in this matrix. It also measures returns on investment and that is basically returns on fixed asset or basically return on a working capital. It also measures what are the types of materials used like renewable material or non renewable material that is used in the manufacturing or let's say packaging or transportation activities. It also measures what kind of energy is consumed including electricity or fuels etc. It also measures how much water is consumed. It also measures how much emissions are generated basically in the form of CO2. It also measures how much waste is generated through different activities of manufacturing or let's say logistics. It also measures diversity and inclusion. So diversity can be, it is based on gender, it, it can be based on age group or any other indicators. Then this score model also measures wage level, basically salaries of the supply chain staff and that is basically wage level. It also measures the trainings and that means basically number, number of hours that the trainings are conducted or number of skills that are built by supply chain professionals. So these are all the KPIs or metrics which are basically measured as a standard guideline across the score model. Now let's come to the next part which talks about what are the advantages of score model. So looking at all the characteristics of score model, what it gives, how it works. So we all know that there are several advantages of this score model. And we have captured four key advantages of this model. So the first is it has a common language across industry and it provides a common platform. So what does that mean? So the score model provides a common language and a systematic approach for evaluating and improving supply chain operations. This can help organizations to better understand their supply chain and identify areas for the improvement. And second advantage of this core model is comparative analysis. So one can compare with the data within the industry and it is basically a benchmarking to understand the best practices being done within the industry. So this helps organization to identify opportunities for improvements and to adopt best practices that are successful in other organizations. The third advantage, the third advantage of this model is it improves the performance significantly and it gains competitive advantage. By using score model to analyze and improve the supply chain operations, organizations can often achieve significant efficiency, effectiveness and also cost savings. By improving their supply chain operations, organization can also become more competitive in the market and they can meet their customer needs in much better way. Very important advantage of this score model is coordination and communication. So in a score 
model you have seen that there is a coordination within the company as well as with the customers and suppliers so the score model provides a common framework that can be used to communicate and coordinate supply chain concepts supply chain decisions strategies across different part of the organization and with external partners and external stakeholders now let's talk about the disadvantages so like we have some advantages there are four disadvantages of the score model and uh, let's talk about the first disadvantage so the first disadvantage is it is complex why it is complex because the score model is comprehensive or extensive framework that includes many different processes and multiple activities and this makes it complex to use and hence it needs significant resources capitals skill and time to implement within the organization or within the industry second is Practices are recently designed and repeatable practices that have already proven that it gives a better impact to improve supply chain performance. These results are obtained in a moderate way. Now, what can be an example of best practices? The best example of best practices can be sending purchase order to supplier via EDI technology. Now, third is common practices. Now, common practices are the practices that companies or industries use to manage their activities. Since this is common across the industry or most of the firms already practice.